Hi, Mike Richardson here again today at Antrotech Systems. Today I'd like to discuss fuel filter water separators and safety. And the auto SIG design that we designed around the various needs of inboard marine, gasoline, and diesel fuel applications. There are a set of standards and most organizations follow the UL standards, which is uh, UL 1105. And that is for uh, filters and strainers. There's a variety of standards, but the one key uh, standard is the fire test. There's also the ABYC and the US Coast Guard. They follow the UL standards on their own, under their own names. AutoSig was designed to not only pass, but just overall function reliably and safely in marine environments. And along like a lot of other standard spin on fuel filter separators are all passed fire tests and such. But there are many filters, strainers available on the marketplace. Many of these have plastic bowls, such as these three I have shown here. And because you have a plastic bowl, yes, in this case, you have a water sensor available, which is great. This plastic bowl has a water sensor and a drain. The problem with these assemblies is they cannot pass the fire test, which is a two and a half minute burn. Temperatures must reach in various zones, 1700 degrees, I believe it is, Fahrenheit. These all would, would melt away. AutoSig was designed to have the water probe internal into the filter assembly, making its electrical connection through the head and yes, we have a plastic plug up here, but because of the shape of everything, it diffuses the flames off the fire. And these plugs melt a little bit, but do not leak. The whole, the whole idea of this test is so that the operator can either get that fire out or they can get off the boat safely within that two and a half minute time frame. It's all about safety and, and, and you know, keeping people from you know, getting in trouble in a, in a boat where you have a bilge fire. So, yes, there's a lot of ways you can do this, but I, I've heard of some cases where an insurance company will actually ask you to send them a photograph of your fuel filter and how it's assembled. Because the insurance companies know that some of these assemblies do not pass. Even though they're readily available on the marketplace, not everybody knows you have certain standards you have to meet. With that, I thank you.